Hi friends, I'm finally back posting a couple of uh, journals that I've made. I've been away for a while. I don't know if you know, but I have triplets and uh, they graduated in the spring and then this fall two of them have gone off to college. And so it, I've been kind of in a little bit of a funk, not getting a lot done. I have gone and seen them a couple of times. Uh, Hannah has gone to LSU and Nick is at UT, so it's kind of exciting. But I have completed a, a couple of journals and I wanted to post them. This one is a music themed journal. It has this beautiful lady on there. She looks like maybe an opera singer holding a piece of music. And then it says, music is the voice of the soul. And then it has a book plate here that you could put your name, some lace, just some um, old music paper. Then the spine is actually a, um, a curved spine or floating spine, I think they call it. But you don't see the stitching on the, the spine. And then the back, again, is just um, some old music paper. And I covered it with some tea stain tracing paper to help it look a little aged. And then just some lace. And then it's pretty chunky. Uh, it's held together. This is one of my signature items. I sell these in my uh, Etsy shop. It's bulldog, rusted bulldog clips. This was a, what I call a bulldog closure. And this one has a chain and then it has a little heart uh, charm on there. Uh, but I normally um, use those as my closures in my journals. And like I say, I sell them in my Etsy shop, rust, paper, scissors. And then, uh, like I say, it's pretty chunky. Um, I like what, when you open it up, that you can see the different uh, lace elements on the different signatures. It has four signatures. It starts with um, just a little uh, old library card that you could put your name on. And then it has some lace and... Um, some uh, rhinestone old um, piece of jewelry and then this is just a collage and then um, again another one of my signature items is uh, in most all my journals I include a um, it's a metal prong fastener and then it holds just several pieces of extra paper for you to journal on uh, this is something that you could remove if you didn't like it, and you could put something else in there. The back is some uh, music paper that just um, covered it, kind of to keep the theme going of the music paper. Then, like I say, it's basically a blank journal, so there's lots of space for you to add pictures or to write or embellish however you would like. This is just the first a tracing paper that I tea dyed, and then all the pages are tea stained. Um, this is just some uh, composition paper. And then this is a little uh, glassine envelope, and it has a little um, treble clef card in there, keeping with the music theme. Again, you could take this music theme and take it away and use it in another project. If you didn't like it, it could just be a blank uh, journal for you. This is some old uh, ledger paper, basically I think from the around the 1900s. And some of it has writing on it. And then this is just some uh, graft paper, and I added a little tuck spot and then a tag with some music paper on there. And then this is just a tuck spot. And this is a copy of, when I was a little girl, I took piano. And one of the things that my teacher did was she, uh, if you learned certain pieces or did certain things, you would get a reward card, and that's what this was, and this is just a copy, but on the back would have been the story of uh, his life and all of that, so I just added that, um, yeah, it kind of went with the music theme, and then I added some, just some music paper that you, uh, blank, that you could write on, and then in the center of uh, my signatures, I usually have an envelope, and this one is just some of the music paper. Again, I have the tea stained paper, uh, tracing paper over it, and it just kind of adds another, I think, little vintage feel to it. Um, so I, I do that, and then this is just a little tag that I stuck in there. And then the back is uh, book paper. Again, I added the tracing paper that's been tea stained over it just to give it a little bit of that uh, aged feel. And then this is just a tuck spot and this is a, a tag 
and it's a violin and a treble clef and some music and just a place for you to journal. I'm not going to say every page because it gets kind of crazy. But this was a tuck spot that I made with book paper. And then this is a tag. It's uh, opera. And this back is blank. Some vintage memorabilia. Then this is the back of that ledger paper. Again, the black of the black scene bag. And here's the uh, music card. And then... Um, journaling spots and this is just a belly band and then it has the treble clef and uh, it's a spot for journaling and then it's just plain as back this is the second signature and it's just a collage that I made and you could uh, it could be a tuck spot if you wanted just several different items on there and then again here's uh, the metal fastener and it's got the extra uh, music paper that you can write on or journal in and then here's, again, uh, blank pages, a glassine bag with a music-themed tag, ledger paper. Here's uh, another tag, and it says, Music gives, you, gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. And that was a quote by Plato. And then here's, again, another one of my reward cards that I got. And then just some music paper. And then this is the envelope, and this is just uh, some matte paper with tea stained tracing paper over it. This is an, another music themed tag. Here's another uh, tag. This tag I um, ran through the embosser, and it's got the uh, music notes on there. And then this is just another tuck spot and a, another music tag. Our ledger paper. Then, um, this is something that I included, and I guess I didn't put one in the first one, uh, but it's, uh, I call them just journal inserts. It's the metal rim tag, and it's just several pieces of paper that you could journal on, and um, some paper off of the corrugated cardboard, so that's the backing. So I'll, I'll put one in the first section, uh, so there'll be one in each one. And then just some plain paper. Here's just the little tags that I made, music paper, for you to journal on. And then that's the end of the second signature. Then this is the third signature. And again, it's just a collage that I made using corrugated cardboard, music paper, a little uh, metal rim tag. Again, it could be a tuck spot if you wanted. Uh, here's our music paper. And then the... the Signatures are pretty much the same. Uh, I, I keep them kind of similar. Another music tag. Oh, I like this tag. This is, a again, the tuck spot, and it says, Jazz it up with sax, and it's a picture of a saxophone. So I like that. And then again, here's our next reward card. This is Beethoven. And then another tuck spot there. And then this is the envelope. And on this one, I just put some lace and I believe some um, craft paper. And then this is just a metal um, paper clip. I sell these in my shop. This was just a little um, tracing paper envelope that I made. Uh, again, uh, the uh, metal rim tags, I sell those in my shop. This is just a um, tag, that a little embellishment there on the bottom, a little bling. And then that's the back. And then here's another tuck spot and some more tags that I made just um, for you to write on or use however you want. And this is another tuck spot and a music tag. And then our journaling paper. Again, here's our insert with the different pages. And again, you could change that up. You could add more, take take away from them, put it in a different project if you didn't like it. And here's the end of our signature. And this is just a tag that I had uh, embossed and uh, included. And then here's the last uh, signature. Again, it's just a collage on a tag. And uh, it could be a tuck spot if you wanted. And then here's our um, metal rim tags, that those uh, prongs that I sell. And then here's our, our paper, here's our 
music tag, the ledger paper, another tag and a tuck spot. Um, let's see, here's my last uh, reward card. It's Yosef Hayden. And then uh, just more. This was just the envelope, and uh, that's just a uh, metal rim tag that I put um, music paper on, and then I um, heat embossed it, uh, so it kind of looks a little aged. And again, another tag tags that I made for uh, you to journal on. Okay, and then that's just the back of that. And then here's an, another little, just a little tag. It uh, looks like old music paper and a butterfly on there. Here's another music tag. And then here's our journaling, or our ledger paper, our tuck, our journal insert. And again, like I say, any of this stuff you could remove if you did not like it. You could use it in another project. And then here's our uh, last uh, tuck spot. It's uh, music at its essence is what gives us memories. And the longer a song has existed in our lives, the more memories we have of it. And that was a quote by Stevie Wonder. And I really liked that. And then this is just another little envelope that you could tuck something in there. I made those. And then this is the back. So that's it. It will be for sale. It is for sale in my Etsy shop. I just wanted to do a flip through and let you see it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, or concerns. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.